Hello everyone. This is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we are briefly going to discuss several different coats of arms in the Foster family. The first is blazoned Argent Three Buggle Horn String Sable. And it was from Copdock in County Suffolk, England. And I believe this belonged to William Foster, who owned Copdock Hall in the 1550s. He was a local magistrate and justice of the peace, as well as a Catholic zealot, the son of Richard Foster of Evelith. Next, we have Argent, a chevron between three bugle horns vert stringed ore. This was found in the county of Yorkshire, England. Third, we have Argent, a chevron between three bugle, three bugle sable string gules, crest, an arm and armor embowed, holding in the hand the head of a broken tilting spear proper. And this coat of arms was found in Brick Hill, County Bedfordshire, and the Bogue, County Lancaster, as well as the Bogue Estate in Jamaica, Eggham, Kempstone, and County Bedfordshire. And we know this family descended from the ancient house of Forster or Foster of Barnborough Castle in County Northumberland. Next we have Argent, a chevron vert between three buggle horn sable stringed gules. Crest, a stag passant proper. This coat of arms was granted to Henry Foster, Esquire of Cormie Castle, County Cavan, Ireland, also known as Cabra Castle, and it belonged to John Thomas Foster from 1747, who lived from 1747 to 1796, who had been a member of parliament for Dunlear, County Louth, and for Enos, County Clare. And here we see a picture of Cabra Castle in Ireland. Next we have Argent, a chevron gules, between three buggle horns vert on a cheap of the second as many leopard's faces or crest, a stag's head, quarterly, sable, and argent attired or. This was the coat of arms of Reverend John Foster, the rector of Fox Earth near Sudbury in County Suffolk, England. He was accused of raping Sarah Newman, aged 16 years, in 1871, but the charges were dismissed as not proven. This was John Henry Foster, born into a wealthy family in Liverpool in 1815, the eldest son of John and the grandson of William Foster, an important architect. Next we have Argent a chevron between three buggle horn sable stringed of the second, crest, an arm embowed holding a broken tilting spear proper. Next, argent, a chevron vert between three buggle horns and a border sable bazanti. We show the, the sable, the chevron as sable here, it should be vert. Next we have argent, two bucks heads erased proper between two chevronels azure, the hole, the hole between three buglehorn sable stringed gules, crest, a buck proper, the dexter forepaw resting on an escutcheon gules charged with a castle argent. This was the coat of arms of Sir William Foster, born 1798, who was created the first baronet of Norwich in the baronetage of the United Kingdom in the year 1838. 
Next we have Azure on a pile between three bugle horns in base stringed or another bugle horn string of the field. Crest, a demi stag or semi of fions and holding between the legs a bugle or bugle horn Azure. This belonged or was granted to Ebenezer Foster, Esquire of Ansey Hall in County Cambridge, born 1777, and he founded a bank with his brother Richard. And here we see a picture of him as well as his grave. Per chevron embattled or invert, three eagles displayed counterchanged, crest, an eagle displayed or. This coat of arms was granted to the descendants of the late Reverend Robert Foster, prebendary of the Cathedral Church of Wells. His wife was Joanna Slade, and by her he had issue named Susanna, Elizabeth, Lieutenant General Thomas, and William John Foster. Next, Sable, a chevron ermine between three fions argent. This was found in Huntingdon, and it was the coat of arms of Sir Stephen Foster, a fishmonger, the son of Robert, and he became the Lord Mayor of London in 1434. He was once in debtor's prison, and a wealthy widow paid his fee, and he ended up marrying her. Next, Sable, a chevron ermine, between three fions, pointing downwards, argent in chief, a mullet charged with another gules for difference. This was the coat of arms of Alderman John Foster, the mayor of Dublin, recorded in the funeral entry in 1640 of his daughter, Margaret. And lastly, we have Sable, a chevron engrailed between three arrows inverted argent, a martlet for difference. This was found in Week, Somerset, and it belonged to Christopher Foster, the son of John Foster and the grandson of William Foster of Reading, and this was recorded in the visitation of Somerset in the year 1623. If you enjoyed this video, please visit coadb.com and click on the link up top that says Genealogy Research. As you learned in this video, one surname can have tons of different coats of arms associated with it. So don't just pick any old coats of arm that has your surname on it. We piece together your family tree to determine which, if any, coat of arms belonged to your ancestors. Thank you.